What is going on guys? Gino check it back in for another video today. It's 9.30 a.m. at the moment. I just dropped off Romy at work and I figured I'd take you guys along through this day since I have a sick little upper body session plan and I think that I'm going to go for a sick little PR. Today's my flat dumbbell bench press day so you might already know what time it is. But first off let's start the day on the right manner. Alright so what I have right here is the legendary breakfast bowl with 80 grams of cream of wheat, 30 grams of whey, 20 grams of cacao powder, two bananas, 25 grams of peanut butter, and then I added some cinnamon and some sea salt on top of it. Do not knock it till you try it. It tastes way better. The legendary Nutella sandwich, the <laughs> defrosting on top of my decaf cup of coffee with 30 grams of Nutella, a decaf cup of coffee, and water to get hydrated. Man, I've been seriously so in love with this new gym. Like honestly, from the first moment that I stepped into the gym, I felt like a new spark of motivation, like a fresh breath of air that I haven't felt in a very long time. I also mentioned this in my previous vlog where I showed you guys the actual gym and it just feels so nice to finally have a gym where I can be myself, like literally, like train hard without people looking at you like you're a freaking moron. Not that there's anything wrong with uh, regular commercial gyms because like I've been training there for seven straight years, but it just feels nice to be surrounded by people that are all on the same page as you are. So yeah, like I said, it feels very nice. Ever since eating my breakfast, I've been doing a lot of work on the computer, retouching some of the things on my website. And man, a lot of you have been applying for online coaching. Like I'm seriously humbled by the fact that you guys were choosing me as your online coach since it allows me to do the thing that I love the most, you know, help people reach their goals again in the best shape of their life. But it just goes to show that good things are worth waiting for and worth working for. Like. I've been doing coaching for a little while now and of course in the beginning it's hard to get clients and get the ball rolling but the more people that you can help and the more people that you do help obviously allow you to get some epic transformations under your name. From there on out the word just keeps spreading. I've been seeing myself getting recommended on reddit pages as an online coach and there's a question in my questionnaire asking the client where they found my website or my service and a lot of them have actually been coming from reddit so whoever has actually recommended me uh, Thank you so much. But again, it just feels nice to be able to help a lot more of you reach your goals, get in the best shape of your life. So quick plug, if you want to get in the best shape of your life, hit the link in the description and apply for online coaching so we can work together. So anyway, like I said, I've been working for a couple of hours. Let's make the pre-workout meal. So second meal of the day, I have a bowl of oats with 80 grams of coffee caramel flavored oats, very delicious, 30 grams of whey and I added in 150 grams of mixed frozen berries which will obviously melt, two whole eggs sunny side up and I normally always add 100 milliliters of egg whites but well, obviously I ran out and one normal cup of coffee to be my fuel for the workout. I was actually supposed to be picking up Romy at 4.30 p.m. since she would be done working at that time. And we're having a little date night tonight from going out to eat. But she asked me to model for the clothing store that she manages. So I think that I'm going to be having uh, to literally shove this meal into my system, head to the gym, do a quick little upper body workout and then uh, model, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to be having to fix this little mess right here since I have to go in like literally two minutes. So uh, let's do this quick. That is much better. Let's head to the gym. Alright guys, like I said, in the car right now, about to head to the gym. First of all, I'm going to be drinking my citrulline malate, which is my preferred pre-workout of choice. Watermelon flavor, delicious AF. Tall people problems. Do you guys also have to crouch down in order to drink the whole shaker bottle? Anyway, really excited to be hitting this upper body session since it's the last week before the deload and I'm going to be attempting the 50 kilogram dumbbells. Now, I mentioned this on a couple of videos prior to this one. 
that I wanted to work up to the 50 kilogram dumbbells <clears throat> for actual sets. And last week I mentioned the 48 kilogram dumbbells for three sets of eight. But since this is the last um, upper body workout before the deload, well Saturday is my last upper body workout in general, but this is my last flat dumbbell press focused upper body workout. That's a mouthful. So I really, really want to press the 50s, man. By the way, what kind of music do you listen to when you're in the car or in your free time or when you're working out? I really like my hip hop, but you can never go wrong with some rock or some metal, heavy metal, death metal. If you guys want me to share a playlist, I have one playlist that I share on my Instagram pretty frequently, but if you want to like listen to all of my playlists, let me know in the comments. PR time, baby. So that first set was pretty freaking easy, that I come to think of it. So uh, I hope that I'm going to be able to reach the three sets of eight with the 50s before it's time to deload. So that will be a lifetime PR. Let's give it a shot. Even though that it was grindy as fuck, <laughs> we got it. So we're now moving on to the rest of the workout. And I won't drag this on for an unnecessary long time. So cue the music and let's bring you to the workout. So like I said, we're going to be eating some delicious ass burgers and I wasn't actually planning on getting a burger since normally I like to get chicken, just regular plain old grilled ass chicken, <laughs> not grilled ass chicken, but I'm really feeling uh, a juicy burger. I'm very feeling hungry. Okay, so let's eat because we don't want to live for hungry. <laughs> 
What's going on guys? It is the next day and I apologize for not filming after eating the burger But the burger was absolutely delicious. I believe like Roman and I were talking about this It's got to be the best or one of the best burgers that we have ever had But then again, we are known for pretty much thinking that every single meal that we have Is the best meal we have ever had like, Optimism to the max. Anyway, the workout was amazing. Like I said, I set a lifetime PR on the flat dumbbell bench press. And that brings me to the topic that I want to talk about in this video. I got to end the video, and that is goal setting. Now, I've been talking a lot about the growth of my coaching company, my coaching service, and uh, setting a lifetime PR, which I had set the goal for one or two months ago, if I'm not mistaken. And that just goes to show it is very important to set goals, all right? I have had the goal to grow my coaching company and help a lot more people reach their goals, get in the best shape of their life. And um, I set the like kind of short-term goal to hit the 50 kilogram dumbbells on the flat dumbbell bench press. I'm not saying that if I hadn't set the goal, I wouldn't have ever achieved the goal or have achieved the things that I want to accomplish. But by setting a goal, actually setting it in stone, on paper or uh, on camera, in this case, you are throwing it out there and you're more likely to take action towards the goals and you're then more likely to take the necessary steps in order to achieve that goal. So whether it be your goal to lose fat or build muscle mass, uh, lose X amount of pounds, gain X amount of pounds in a certain amount of time, by setting it in stone, you're going to be taking the necessary steps or you're more likely to take the necessary steps in order to get there. If you grab a pen and paper right now and you write down, I want to hit the gym five times a week. Trust me, you are way more likely to actually start hitting the gym five days a week instead of not writing it down and letting life happen all around you. Like how many times have you had it where you say that you want to do something, but then life happens, you miss a workout and then all of a sudden you're sitting in bed with a tub of Ben and Jerry's and you say, oh man, I can't believe I only hit two workouts this week. Ooh, that is delicious. Damn. What I want to challenge you guys to do is, if you have a goal, if you have a goal in mind, or just know that you want to achieve something, whatever it is, grab some pen and paper, write your goal down, write down the necessary steps that you have to take in order to achieve that goal, and trust me, it will make life a lot easier. All right, so anyway, I'm ending the vlog right here. Romy and I are actually headed to London tomorrow night. It's a bus drive that's headed towards a boat, and then we're taking the boat to London itself. So I'm ending the video right here, and of course, I'm going to be vlogging the entire London trip. So that is it for this video, guys. I sincerely hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to smash the like button, because it truly helps out the channel grow. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel, and turn post notifications on for so much more content coming really soon. I'm out guys, and peace out, see you in the next one.